thanks for coming out. Are you the huge guy? <laughs> Good shooting. Shitty shooting. Good shooting. Shitty shooting. Cut. I have the Bruins are thing. Marker. <laughs> Thanks very much for coming out. Okay. Shut it. Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck me. Now say Wyatt Earp. Wyatt Earp. Okay, this, this is for TV. This is for TV. Go Wyatt Earp, man. Wyatt Earp, man. Look at the camera. I know. Try it again. What the fuck am I doing? Am I saying this or am I seeing? Covering it for TV. Wyatt Earp, man. Wyatt Earp, man. Wait, wait, wait. Why? Oh, I see. Wyatt Earp, man. <laughs> what? Yeah, don't you worry, Ma. I respected the hell out of her for you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ma! We're back. I don't want my boys to be distracted when they take the drinking. Ah, yes, Mother. This is Rose Baum Gertel Gertel Rose and Gertel Baumgartner. Yeah, right. You're gonna be training her today. So do a good job. Hey. Well, it's pleased to meet you then, Rosie. <laughs> I prefer to be called Rosengirdle by men. Well, of course you do then. Well, let's get you kissed out. <laughs> the largest one I've ever seen. I'll tell you, self-imposed affirmative action. If we hire big, fat, angry lesbians, then the leftist groups representing big, fat, angry lesbians won't think we're violating their rights. Hmm. Well, how politically correct you are. Uh, it's good stuff. Uh, well, you don't know the half of it. These people can shut you down. They'll sue you into the ground claiming they're put under duress, mental pain, inner suffering, shout like that. Hmm. Yeah. Well... As long as we're hiring fat lesbians. Don't you give your mark call? Yeah. Go fuck yourself, Murphy. All right, what you want to do is you want to cut up as much fat as you can. And basically, the rule of thumb here is... Well, be... Rule of thumb? Rule of thumb, yeah. yeah. Do you know where that term comes from? I've got no idea. In the early 1900s, it was legal for a man to beat his wife. As long as he used the stick no wider than his thumb. Get too much damage with that, then can we? Perhaps it should have been a ruler wrist. Get you a nice little club. Ruler wrist there, Rosie. <laughs> hey, Murph. Hi. How many lesbians does it take to screw in a light bulb? Well, it takes two then, doesn't it? One to actually screw in the light bulb, and another wee little lesbian to suck my fucking cock! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I knew you pricks would give me problems. Give me shit, because I'm a woman. Well, I'm not going to take your male dominant bullshit. She's trying to get the rise out of you. That's not trying to break the ice. Now, fuck you. And, and fuck you, too. Come on, it's St. Patty's Day. It's all in good fun. Oh, does Bob Gardner sound Irish to you, fuck face? Oh, you relax, all right? That is just, you just call me. <laughs> Perhaps you should save all that aggression for protests, isn't it? March is not you! You two fucking slaves, kowtowing to the needs of men. Get up, get the fuck up, and leave them there! Shit. Well.
Or is that you? Well, is that you? Is that where this brother of yours is there? I want you both there to... Christ, there's no fucking hot water, man. Shut it, it's mad. It's all your fault. Both, you little bastards. I was a fool to believe you. Give me any peace. The day your dad left us, when you're almost too young to remember, he said, the two of you do me right and make me proud. Well, he was wrong, and I got nothing to live for. What are you saying? You're talking crazy here. What's the matter with us? I finally found your dad's arm revolver, Connor. No, Ma, what are you doing with dad's gun? Dad's gun? What the... I got it to me head now. What the hell are you doing? What the fuck? I want to tell you one last thing before I pull the trigger. Pull the trigger? Have you lost it, woman? Now get the hold oh, of yourself. Ma. Ma, listen to Connor Christ, now. Ma, I'm ma. talking some sense here. You listen to me. Christ, Christ, me Christ, and Matt were right here. Christ, 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 Jesus Christ. Yeah! Matt, don't you fucking put it. Matt, where the fuck is God here? Connor, what the fuck? Oh, Ma, come on. Jesus fucking Christ. Ma, 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 Ma. Ma! 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 <laughs> God have mercy, that was a good one, Ma. Oh, fucking evil woman. Oh, Jesus! No, Ma, no! Christ, Ma, no! <laughs> She's quite proud of herself. Oh, of course she is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seriously, I, I want you both to listen to me now. We're both here, Ma. What is weird? <laughs> it's only 11 here, boys. So I got lots more drinking to do with your worthless relatives down at the Amble. You just called the Dorchester, did you? Ma, how's Uncle Sibiel? Well, you know how it is with him. Always complaining he's never turning a profit on St. Patty's. Whole down family goes down there with no money because you know he can't bear to charge us. <laughs> but he's been having a drink or two himself. Been up to wake his skirt all night, poor girl. <laughs> you tell him to take it easy with that, Ma. He's got to learn to respect women the way Corner does. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I gave him his first lesson in sensitivity. Oh, uh, Chris, don't even start, just start today, my mom. You got beat up by a girl. No, if that was a girl, I want to see some papers. Ma, she had to be just preoperative for Christ's fucking sake. Lord's fucking name. Father Mary, follow Grace. Grace. What? What'd you do, Connor? Well, I tried to make friends and didn't I? She gave me a shot to the nuts. <laughs> what? That dirty bitch. Well, I hope you trounced her a good one. Oh, you bitches, right? Well, Ma, you know, I didn't. Uh, don't you but... worry, Ma. I respected the hell out of her for you. Oh, Macho Murph, yeah. Well, listen. I know how my boys take to scrapping when they take to drinking. Yes, Ma. I mean it now. I carried the two of you little bastards around in my belly at the same time, you grateful peasants. <laughs> you ruined my girlish figure in one fell swoop, and then you sucked me dry. My tits are hanging down to my ankles. I I'm tripping over him, for Christ's sake. So you listen to me. No fighting. Yes, Mother. Promise me, boy. We promise. Promise, Mother. Well, there's my boys. Oh, shit. Gotta go. Looks like I caused a ruckus with that shot. Half the damn neighborhood's coming. All right. Love you, Ma. Hey, listen, so, before uh, you go, just give us the goods, huh? Please? Hey, come on, Ma, it's been 27 years. Come on. Ah, oh, still bickering over that, huh? Well, of course you are, Ma, now out with it. Come on, now tell us, who came out first? All right. I suppose you have the right to know. I can't fucking hear. Are you ready? Okay. Go on. The one with the bigger cock. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? The one... It's your fucking mother talking it's like your that. Fucking mother. Fucking hell. Crazy woman. I don't even fucking start. I've had ice on mine, all right?
So, these two guys are kicking the shit out of each other, right? This guy picks up an old kitchen sink that somebody threw out and fucking crushes this guy with it, right? So it makes a big bang. Lurks their friend like a stand look out on the corner. He comes over, he's pissed, right? Oh, shit, man. You're supposed to scrap a little, sell your differences. You're not supposed to kill him, you bastard, right? So now they get into an altercation in which the lookout guy crushes this guy by jumping on him. And look at the damage here. I mean, this guy's hamburger, man. It's all twisted, his spine's all crushed. You throw some fries down there and a prize, this guy's a fucking Happy Meal. $2.99, please drive through. Jesus Christ, that had to be one big motherfucker. Huge, you know what I'm saying? Three, maybe 400 pounds. That's pretty thin. Very thin. That's what I'm saying happened. As a matter of fact, this guy over here is probably helping to stem with a rectal problem along down the alley. They're limping around like a couple of decrepit old broads, right? So once this guy over here is out of the picture, this poor asshole, he tries to run. But look how far he gets before the huge bastard catches up with him. Only a few yards. I mean, he's worse than the fucking Patriots. Jesus Christ. And what's he do? He gets creative. He picks up a sink and crushes the poor motherfucker. Then, he ain't done yet. He comes over here, jumps on this guy's back and crushes him to death. Steals his shit and beats it. Thanks for coming out. And look at this print. That's one big fucking shoe. And think about it. All the ways to kill a guy, crush him to death, that's very particular. Pod, pick your fucking lot. You don't see many of those. I don't know. He struck again, hasn't he, Greenlee? The big wooden friggin' shoe guy is back, huh? Why are you always fucking with me like this, huh? What's with the disrespect? Respect is earned, Greenlee. Never given. Guys like you should have to follow me around squabbling for the scraps from my table. Well, it uh, certainly illustrates the diversity of the word. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here, huh? What? 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 Answers! I Get a fucking hold of yourself, man! Get a hold of yourself, man. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Shit up. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Listen, we'll take separate exits, we'll meet back at rocks. Fuck! A little theory from last night just got shot to shit. Something new is going on here. out of the porno business. I don't care who I have to blow to do it. I'm done. I'm never again. Never again. You there? Yes. 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 Do you think Father will fuck this up? What do you want me to do? Just be natural, God. since your last confession. Christ, I never confessed. According to dogma, the Catholic Church, I should probably burst into flames right in this booth. But uh, I come here for advice, not salvation. Why have you come to a church for counsel if you're not religious? Oh, why? never had before. I, I guess I just felt I should. 
What is it? Oh, it's ethics. I put evil men behind bars. But the law has miles of red tape and loopholes for these cocksuckers to slip through. But I found out there these two guys who fixed the situation with an iron fist as if they had God's permission. But what they do is wrong. Uh, I should arrest them, technically. God's permission? God doesn't... But in this day and age, I... I believe what they do is necessary. I, I feel it is correct. You believe? Yeah. You feel? Yes, I do. The soul is what gives us feelings. Oh. Happiness, guilt, right and wrong. It's like a conduit mm. to which the Lord speaks to us. You felt your answers would be here in oh. the house of God today. Oh. And you, you feel that these men are necessary. Oh. So God has spoken to you twice today. Has he now? <laughs> you are the one who came into this church speaking about beliefs and feelings of your own free will. Is it so hard to believe that God has brought you here? I guess not very easy to be sarcastic about religion, but it's much more difficult to listen to your feelings, small hints from God, and act on them, to take a stand. You're right. Those who do not act are in a constant state of ethical indecision. I want to stand for what I believe in, Father. First, you have to know what your beliefs are. I believe that these young men are right. Do you know them personally? Yes. Would they ever harm an innocent person for any reason? No. They would never do that. Well, the two Irish guys went. The Italian guy, he might, he's kind of an idiot. <laughs> Goddamn right I am. I'm beginning to see. I've been doing my job well for 15 years, and it's just not enough. All the things I wish I could do, these guys are doing. Millions of dollars in taxpayers' money we saw on shit like wiretaps and surveillance. These guys go in and take care of it for 